The Super Bowl of NASCAR is almost here. The Daytona 500 kicks off the racing season in less than three weeks. And once again, all drivers will be chasing six-time world champion Jimmy Johnson. Why has Johnson dominated NASCAR so thoroughly? For starters, the men changing his tires and filling up his gas tank. Jeff Glore, on assignment for 60 Minutes Sports, got a chance to meet the pit bulls. Jeff, good morning. Yes, the pit bulls. Charlie, good morning to you. The cars reach more than 200 miles an hour, but it's possible the most important part of the race is when they aren't moving at all. This is the 48 team, the six-man pit crew of reigning NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson, who knows that without them at their best, he will not see victory lane. Can a pit crew be the difference between winning and losing a race? Without a doubt. Absolutely. Each and every week. They set, set their driver up to succeed or not. They train 11 months of the year, knowing they can be replaced at any time by some quicker and hungrier backup. We'll just keep working on it. I think it's getting better and better. They hit the film room, just like NFL players, reviewing what went right and what went wrong and how to function as a synchronized unit. Get an idea of, as a group, where we feel like we need to be. Ryan Patton was on the strength and conditioning staff at Ohio State University when he was recruited by Hendrick Motorsports. Now he's the rear tire carrier for the 48 team. Every pit stop, people are watching, and, and whether it's TV and fans, whatever, you know, so one mistake on this team, it could cost them a race, you're on Sports Center. Everybody else wants to be on Sports Center, and your job, you don't want to be on Sports Center. Uh, if you're on Sports Center, no, something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> the recruiting and training system here has helped produce a mountain of heavy metal for the four teams of Hendrick Motorsports. This is something that you can walk through when you're having a bad day, and it makes you feel good because you know that represents a tremendous amount of work and uh, a lot of success. It takes an awful lot to win one. Members of the pit crew now make six-figure incomes. They are often recruited from college football and baseball programs. They even train at times at Hendrick with special forces teams. They're it is playing. serious, serious business. So how long does it take? I mean, it's about 12 yeah, seconds the now. They, they, they could, they're trying to break the 10-second barrier. That may be tough. But, I mean, keep in mind, a decade ago, you're talking about 17-second pit stops. Mm -hmm. It was mechanics. You know, the grease monkeys in the machine shop were the ones who were changing these tires. Now these guys are Skilled. highly trained yeah. and honed. It's fun to watch them. Yeah. yeah. Watch Makes them a difference. Action. Makes a difference. Yeah. Great story, Jeff. Thank you. And you can see Jeff's full report on NASCAR pit bulls on 60 Minutes Sports. That's tonight on Showtime, a division of CBS.